What's good everybody? I'm Emilio and this is another episode of Snapchat 101 where you learn stuff about Snapchat because they like to make updates and not tell anybody. So let's get straight into it. This is about text. So I'm going to get a semi-dark background that I can change black and white and do some cool things with. Okay, cool. So here we are. First off, if you guys want to add me on Snapchat, you see my snap code down there in the bottom corner. Just go ahead and screenshot this and let's get into it. So my handle is also the Mills Edition. It's the same on every social media platform. So the Mills Edition and I'm going to do like a whole bunch of words. Crazy blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Here we are. So first thing I want to tell you the update is this shadow box used to have, have limitations. You couldn't move it up further than these buttons here. You couldn't move it down further than these buttons. But now you can move it all the way up. Shoot, you can move it halfway out the screen. You can't even really see the top line. And then you can move it all the way to the bottom. This is good for when you're taking pictures and you don't want something to be covering a specific spot of the screen, but you still want to use this shadow box. Now this box, you, you cannot zoom these words. You cannot change the color of these words. You cannot change what lines these words go on, the shape, anything like that. This box is always centered aligned and it goes up and down. But you can add some color in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color the background of the shadow box and uh, you know just for a little just for a little added effect easy peasy all right so I'm gonna go back in here I'm gonna hit the edit the text and what I'm going to do is show you guys one of the updates so one of the updates is I'll select this word there's cut copy bold there is um, underline italics and uh, there's also paste, but you can't see paste in here because I'm selected on a word and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So first let's hit this underline. You guys see I hit the underline, off, on, off, on. Hit the italics, on, off, on, off, on. Hit the italics. However, bold does not work. I'm hitting the bold right now. Bold is not bolding, it's not doing anything and I'm tapping it. So that's that, it doesn't work. Now. I can cut words out, so this is sis, I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to paste it right back in. You all saw that, I'm going to cut it again, and then I'm going to paste it right back in. Bam, easy. Now, another great thing about this is the limitation for um, how many words, how many words, whatever, how many words you can put has increased significantly if you all can't see what I'm just typing so I'm just gonna type something do 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 I'm gonna keep type I'm gonna keep adding words in here until until it until it stops me okay so I've been stopped right here uh, that's a lot of words y'all I mean, I don't even know if you can read all those words in 10 seconds. I mean, if you're a really good reader, you probably could, but don't ever use that many words, y'all, to, to put on a screen. Well, unless you want people to screenshot it, then you could do that. So this is everything that you can do with, with the uh, shadow box text. Now let's move to the big text. Here's big text here, left aligned, and big text center aligned. Those are the only three texts, shadow box, Big text center, left aligned, big text center aligned. So let's just go with center line because we're here right now. Now you see how the Mills Edition is broken up on two lines? I want it to be on one line. How do I do that? I go in here, I edit the text, and I simply zoom out. Easy peasy. I zoomed out, now it's on one line. I can zoom out further and really, really change the shape of this box. And I can zoom up and really change the shape of this box, but you saw how many words. I got the max words, that's way too many in there. But as you can see, maybe I want this, uh, I'm sure what's that bold work. Maybe I want this um, in a certain shape. So I'm out here and I'm like, uh, no, it's too fat. Let me make it a little bit longer. So then I scroll it down like that and you guys get the point. Now, what I can also do with this text is change the color of the text. This text does change colors. So as y'all can see, some of y'all knew that, some of y'all didn't, but now everybody knows. Now, some of y'all don't know this, who did know that the color can change text. Did you know you can change individual words? So I'm gonna put it all back in white, 
and I'm gonna pick a word, highlight it, select a color. Highlight another word, select another color. Highlight another word, select a color, highlight another word, and select another color. And now y'all see, you can only do this with the big text. How I have certain words in different colors. You can do that with the big left aligned and the center aligned, not the shadow box. Ladies and gentlemen, that's everything you can do with text. Have some fun with it, guys. Text is so much fun when you add those things to your um, to your snaps. And I always add text on my video snaps. Um, I'll put exactly what I'm saying as like a as a, as like caption words because I've gotten a lot of requests from some of my deaf followers and my uh, followers who speak English as a second language. They don't understand everything I'm saying because I do speak really fast and you cannot read my lips. I mean, I speak fluent mumble sometimes. So if you guys like the video, please like it, please subscribe, please comment. If you did not like the video, please like it anyway and just put in the comment section what you would have liked to see from me. Um, please Snapchat or um, screenshot my Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat. We have a good time over there. And everybody have a good day. See y'all later.